then so like that i receive so much of when i am doing a initiatives for the development on behalf of government so many times i threatened by the ltt and uh, still they are threatening me but i am uh, with the with the help of security officers even my life safeguarded by the general in the final stage i had a good relationship with the uh, all army commanders and the general that's what i am survive, surviving still and also my people and my public servants the people in vanni surviving and safeguarded by the government security forces in sri lanka finally i have to thank now we have uh, doing a very respect resettlement program in our areas people are very happy that we are rapidly we are doing every month nearly we are able to resettle around 10000 people with well respect we are providing water sanitation housing all the infrastructural facilities you know, as well as the health facilities education we have to be common that uh, these education facilities and health facilities in jaffna district even the every even the war time in mullati also every month nearly 50 children more than 50 children entering the university that's what the government was looked after well for by providing free education and free medical facilities to the people and i finally i have to i i want to firmly tell this success from the terror of our country is well maintaining of the justice love with respect and discipline arm forces and the government thank you very much for giving this talk sir thank sir, you I'm... very much madam uh, imelda sukuma we really appreciate your comments coming from the bottom of your heart sir sir ladies and gentlemen uh, i have just the sri uh... lanka army together with the sister services eradicated terrorism we are now ready for a new role a role we are in the army participates in the nation building in realizing the vision of his excellency the president in making sri lanka the wonder of asia not only that we are also ready to contribute and to make a mark in bringing peace to the world as peace keepers in the next 5 minutes please sit back relax and watch this movie a documentary on sri lanka army's peacekeeping history present and what we are able to do in the future thank you peacekeeping is not just keeping the peace it's about restoring hope rebuilding lives cementing trust and allowing wounds to heal and this is what the un and its affiliated organizations are doing across the globe intervening in known hotspots and establishing a sense of normalcy it could be a month of intervention or years of residence establishing a buffer zone or negotiating a long term solution sri lanka's long association with the un goes back to 1955 when it volunteered for provision of military troops for peacekeeping operations the first deployment dates back to 1960 when five army officers and 11 other ranks made their way to congo it goes without saying The personnel singled out for deployment always leave the shows well acquainted with their future mission. It's here that the Institute of Peace Support Operations Training, located in Kuklegaga, Sri Lanka, has played a stellar role 
in providing holistic pre-deployment training. Mission specific and life skills are imparted, including country specific orientation together with language skills. Overseas instructors familiar with the tasks and specialists in key areas impart their knowledge to potential peacekeepers. One of the key countries of deployment has been Haiti in the Caribbean, where Sri Lanka has sent over 13 battalions of personnel since 2004, maintaining their reassuring presence in five military camps. As UN personnel, they had been first-hand witnesses to the country's volatile political situation, survivors of the January 12th devastating earthquake, and saviors during the numerous tropical storms that have battered Haiti. The 2010 7.0 magnitude earthquake had its epicenter at Leogan, just where the Sri Lanka contingent maintains its presence. The personnel from this contingent responded to the devastating tragedy which claimed over 316,000 lives with heroic zeal which won heartfelt appreciation from the UN, the international community, NGOs, the Haitian government and people. Are you Rowan? It is an honor to join you today on this special occasion when members of the Sri Lanka contingent are recognized for their contribution towards maintaining security in Haiti. I am pleased to convey to you and to your country the gratitude of the United Nations for your efforts here. While countless key edifices were flattened, innumerable lives were endowed with hope through the gestures of these soldiers. Day after day, help is offered. Communities are given a helping hand. Crime is told. A normal life in not so normal conditions is given a fillip. The Sri Lankan peacekeeping contingents have also seen action in Lebanon as the Unifil Force Protection Company and in Chad where they assist the UN in maintaining an airfield. Sri Lankan peacekeepers have served a variety of roles in many other places, spreading the typical warmth and the engaging Sri Lankan smile. In order to be a truly effective force, the Sri Lankan UN operations have maintained a state of readiness for quick deployment. The nation's history and recent past make its peacekeepers ideal for deployment in most UN hotspots. The country's defeat of terrorism, tryst with the tsunami, and its democratic tussles provided the apt soil for a generation of peacekeepers to evolve and understand the travails of other countries in the region. More importantly, the ability to respond to the contingencies that arise with calmness and ready solutions. With such a rich history of successful interventions on behalf of the UN and a promising future, Sri Lanka's peacekeepers are bound to change lives and resurrect hope in a world hungry for peace.